Don't be suspicious of any belief system that encourages you to tolerate uh, that which brings you fear and problems and unhappiness. You're given a fear of death. In other words, parting from this world system. In other words, I want you to stay at school now. Because um, it's going to teach you to be an adult. And more than simply just being with me at home. So you conform to the environment you're in. You'd rather not. You'd rather it was different. You'd rather resist. You'd rather run out the classroom. You'd rather go home to mum. So God gives us a fear of leaving the classroom. It's to keep us in a situation where we will be learning. And it's there for a blessing. So we don't fight against that fear. Hmm. Let me pause on that. Look, I want to say how important your being alive is. So you should keep away from that which restricts your life. I mean, if the monarch is threatening imprisonment, if you don't do such and such, then what it's saying is that the rules of being here at the minute are that you do as the monarch says, or you have the horrible experience of being in prison, or even executed, suffering pain. I'm not sending you to school to be executed, or to suffer pain. I would ideally like you to enjoy being at school so that you get the best out of it. So when the bell rings, you go out to play. And when the bell rings again, you come in again. You know, I mean, that was the sort of traditional school system. Um, you do have to behave. Mm, traditionally, you weren't allowed to chatter in class. You're listening to the teacher respectfully. Don't do things that force you into pain and suffering. I give you pain and suffering as a gift that will encourage you to always stay in the classroom. I'll take you out when the time is right. When you graduate, the class, the school itself, will send you out, in fact. Will simply say, I'm sorry, you can't stay here any longer. <laughs> it's been lovely having you, and we'll miss you greatly. But you must leave now. You're going out into the wide world. You're ready for it. You know, if my, if my country insists I go to war, well, it's not of my nature to kill people. But I'm going to war because that's what's required in this place. Otherwise, my society becomes my enemy and I'm thrown into prison or treated badly or even executed for being a traitor. So I go off to war, and certainly I will avoid killing people and hurting people if I can. 
In fact, uh, I may be blessed by being given certain opportunities where I don't have to go off to war. I could be a medic instead. Or I could be a minister of the church and they don't go to war. Or I could be um, skilled in something where I'm needed at home. Um, deciphering the enemy's um, coded messages and so on. They don't put me on the battlefront to kill people because I'm more useful deciphering the enemy's messages. Do you see, I'm still meant to respond to my fear of death and being mistreated and so forth. And I look for such opportunities. But I certainly respond to the threat of what will happen if I don't do what my society insists on. If it doesn't insist on it, then of course I use my freedom accordingly. If it does insist, I don't pretend that it, society hasn't got the power to make life pretty horrible. Quite simply, be reasonable and be very cautious of any philosophy or religion or view that suggests I do otherwise. Could bring you a lot of harm and sorrow.